question is, well, not the question is, let me tell you what I did. One, uh, one of the other things, one of the many things that I did at the National Arts Festival of uh, uh, South Africa here in, in Grahamstown out here, I'm in Dallas right now at the University of Fort Hare. Uh, in fact, Grahamstown uh, has um, a Rhodes University, um, and Rhodes University, one thing, they have a really good library. I mean, I actually haven't been to it, been in it, I should say that, uh, but uh, I'm going to have to go to take the two and a half hour um, journey to road sometimes to go to that library for a day or whatever it is. And then because the University of Fort Hare Library, and because of that situation, I bought books. Well, not because of that situation, I was buying books actually. Now, unfortunately, because of the last years ago, whatever, because I haven't, I used to read, you know, I used to read a lot of detective mystery, spy mystery, stuff like that, uh, and violent stuff like that. But because I'm doing academic stuff, I have to suspend that stuff and read other stuff. I mentioned another book that went, went to a, 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 it actually was a book launch uh, for uh, DACA, A Short History. Hazel Compton is the name of the author. She also wrote, wrote uh, The Sun Burnt Queen and uh, The Side of the Sun at Noon. Okay. And of course, uh, I had her. Uh, I had her autograph the book. I don't. I usually not do that at all. And then uh, what I did was, um, uh, I remember one book along that I went to. I had the author sign it, right? But I had his wife sign it too, because you know how people say, like, "Was it for my wife?" Da 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 da. So I said, "Well, she's the author too." I had to sign. But what I do these days, uh, what I do is I have the uh, author sign it in the back page. See. Says to the brother, enjoy Hazel. You know, you should have put a date on it, I suppose. But that makes it more valid. But it's back there with the uh, with the with the references. So uh, I do as a reference book. South Africa has uh, pretty good history. Oh, what was that a? Uh, there's, a there's a thing that only happens. That's the thing that only happens during this festival. That's called the long long table. You know, these long tables and they served this food. Food is really good. It's a reasonable price. And uh, we went there. But uh, before we went in, there was a little room and they had an art exhibit. Uh, Beautiful Redemption. The Art of Faith and Politics. Wow. So I looked at the exhibit and, and the exhibit was fine, right? But what affected me more was not necessarily the, um, the, the renderings, you know, the, the art. You know, art, you know, the art like that. Um, but was, uh, I think it's this guy here, is it Duncan Stewart? Uh, anyway, um, there was, the reason why I got this is because there was some drawing here, or some painting in here, and they accompanied with the words, and the words that this guy, I think it was Duncan, the words that they, that they used, I mean, the words were wonderful. It was like, I think the guy's name is Duncan Stewart. I'm not going to find a word right now because I don't feel like it. And, uh, not that I don't feel like it, but I'm not. Um, but anyway, the words are you know, like that. Now it's interesting because uh, in the document, in the, uh, what's that guy that does all those PBS things, you know? Anyway, he did the thing called jazz. And one of the episodes, one of the uh, critics says, uh, the, the problem, he said, the situation is not that uh, people can't understand jazz, you know, or that there's no language for jazz, or no language for music. It's really that the language hasn't caught up to the music. So what, is what we're saying, uh, I think the reason why I like dance, and, and I like, I do like jazz, um, um, and I like our, our art, is because it, it, it's, it's it's what it is. It's just, it's just the emotion, the feelings from the person they got from, you know, they got that inspiration from whoever, you know, the creator gave them the inspiration. But uh, there are no, no, the words, when you see something, whatever language you speak in, then you will interpret it in your language. You'll see it, you'll see it in your, in what informs you, the language that informs you, the, the experiences that inform you. So you can see a piece of art or you can see a dance piece one year and then 20 years, see, a year later, see the same piece. Right, and have different, uh, different vocabulary for it. So uh, that's one reason why. Oh, this is in a bag. Well, I got Eureka Mill traditional unbleached stone ground flour. Anyway, they do it because it's a. a um, excuse me. Ooh, 
dry mouth comes in too, so I'm gonna have to sneeze again. Um, it's a, it's a it's a donation to something like that. Story of a century. Really interesting. Now, I don't know, I guess, just like the, I think it's the dust from the books or something like that. So, but I want to use this. Uh, this was uh, written, uh, or at least the editor, is 1923. I want to use that for my math study, for my PhD study, because there's a very interesting part in here which I'm not going to reveal right now. But these are the early missionaries. These are the people that came before they understood the language. And it's, it's part of my studies. But I don't know if I'm going to use it in math. I think I'll, I'll, I'll let's see what happens. What else do I have? Oh, five books of marriage. Harry Owen. Oh, Harry Owen. Uh, one of the preeminent poets of South Africa. I bought this book from him called The Call, New and Resurrected Poems, Harry Owens. He's, he's, from, from, he's actually a poet living in Grahamstown. Five books of marriage, I haven't looked at that yet. In fact, there's a poem that I, might, I will post uh, of Harry's that I, I, I filmed him or videoed him uh, doing. Uh, poems of Haiti, edited by uh, Amitab uh, Matra, forward by Professor Peter Horn. Oh, Book of Poetry, again, po Poetry. This is because I went to this poetry session uh, from from the editor, from the editor, which I bought his book too. His, uh, what I got, some sort of semi autobiographical uh, book. Uh, 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 Amitab uh, Matra, he's Indian. But he is, like I said, is a visual artist, poet, and medical doctor based in East London, South Africa. Uh, he heads the Department of Emergency Medicine in a hospital in the township of Denzane. Um, Stranger in the Sun is a semi autobiographical collection of prose poems and drawings. Uh, Denzane, just in case you don't know, is one of the, like maybe the second largest township in all of South Africa, uh, following, I guess, Soweto. But I don't know, man. Um, uh, uh, the Kailich in Cape Town, man, that thing keeps on growing. So anyway, but he's a medical doctor there. And this is his uh, this is his book that I actually bought. I think he signed this one. Let's look in the back. I think he signed this one too. Yeah. To Brother Anthony Love and Regard. Uh, so this is poem's hate. I wanna look at I wanna uh, look at that. Those are the only books I got. I don't think I have got any books, any other books. Um, so anyway, so, so, so like I said, the, the, the National Arts Festival, you know, South African National Arts Festival, um, you can get a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I, unfortunately, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get all the books that, that I wanted to get um, for a number of reasons. Not just money, but just, just, just I'm, I'm overloaded with other kinds of stuff that I have to do from, from kind of in the throes of my masters. So that's it. You now, just giving you the form that, that hey, if you ever. Uh, if you pick up books, pick up books. You can get them from the authors, you can get them from stores, you can get them, you know, from the street. It's a good thing. That's a, a good thing according to me, T. From the Patterson's taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.